Hello, I'm Keontae Herrera, and I am here with Coach Burton and senior guard Gabby Scott. Coach Burton, um, you had a successful campaign last season. What are your expectations from your team this season? Our expectations are to build on last year. We felt like we had a solid, um, solid first year, and we feel like we had some key pieces coming back, and so we just want to build on last year. I feel like we did pretty good in conference and uh, had a good run in the conference tournament, and so we want to we want to just improve on that and really really battle for a conference championship this year. Gabby, the coach added a lot of new additions to the team. How do you feel about the chemistry and preseason workouts? Um, as far as chemistry, uh, yes, we do have a lot of newcomers, but we also have a lot of returners who basically know what Coach Burton wants and expects for us. Um, so I feel that we'll be able to translate that onto the court and also build the chemistry that we need to be successful. What is a key factor that you believe the team should focus on to be successful this season? Um, to be successful at any team, I feel that chemistry is important. So basically building that trust on the court, and that's a key, key factor for us. Coach Burton, talk to me some about your returning players. I feel like we have uh, three key pieces coming back, one being Gabby Scott, who's right next to me, uh, our leading scorer last year. Did a great job of, of really stretching the defense with her three-point shooting. And, and um, this offseason, she's really worked on her ability to drive to the basket, worked on her individual defense, and, and is much improved. And uh, and was already an all-conference player last year. And then we have Princess Davis, who was the freshman of the year last year and, and led the conference in assists, along with Artasia Gay, who was our second leading scorer. And so uh, with those three, we feel like we have a strong nucleus right there. And then... Uh, Zenobia Winbush will be a big factor for us this year. She played the three for us last year, and we'll slide her to the four. And uh, Kayla Riley, who redshirted for us last year, had a chance to um, improve during the off season, get better, learn our system, and she's going to be a big piece for us this year. You have a lot of new additions this mm -hmm. season. Um, talk to me about some of those. Well, we we felt like we needed to improve our depth this year, and uh, we felt like that hurt us at the end of last season, and so we went out and... and uh, Grabbed a bunch of newcomers, added five guards, uh, freshman Jasmine Poe and Courtney Fields, and then we added three transfers in Shamari Harris, Crystal Pickron, and Olivia Brown. And, and Olivia Brown and Crystal Pickron will, will, will bring some much needed wing scoring. And Shamari Harris, who is a point that can also slide over to the two spot. Um, she, we have her to, to spell Princess Davis, who played a lot of minutes for us last year. And so um, our point guard depth uh, really got a little bit deeper this year, and, and uh, we feel very, very good about our backcourt. And in our front court, we have Brittany Adams, Amari Jones, and Adrissa Harrison, who are all three transfers. Uh, got another big, big with Brittany Adams being 6'3 and, and athletic, and then uh, two smaller but athletic forwards, and Adrissa Harrison and Amari Jones, who kind of give us something different than we had last year. So very excited about our newcomers and very excited about the people we have coming back to this team. In a very competitive Lone Star Conference, what is your outlook on the season? You hit it on the you hit the nail on the head, man. It's it's a, a very competitive conference. I think this year would be stronger uh, from top to bottom than last year, uh, with Adam uh, Coach Baker, Kevin Baker going to to Angelo State. You know he did a great job in recruiting this spring, and and he'll do a good job over there. Um, the Kings have had a full year to really recruit and, and rebuild that. That program down there and, and Eastern New Mexico added some key transfers and so some of the teams that weren't the top of the conference last year got stronger and then you have teams like TWU, Tarleton State, Midwestern, West Texas, Cameron, those teams are always strong year in and year out and so it's going to be very competitive this year and, and we, we look forward to uh, competing in the Lone Star Conference. Do you have anything else before we wrap up this session? Uh, I want to know what Gabby Scott is looking forward to this year. I'm looking forward to winning the conference championship. Not only that, but also going far in the NCAA tournament as well. I'm also looking forward to playing against Baylor. It's going to be fun. Which Are there any players in the conference that you're looking forward to playing against this year? Um, like you were saying, our conference is very competitive, so of course there's a lot of talent. But I think I'm looking most forward to playing Sago in TWU. Every time we matched up with them, it was always a, a good game. Good battle. So. Definitely, definitely. They're definitely a strong team and, and have a lot of returns, but they'll be, they'll be good this year. And and 
the thing is, there's a lot of good players coming back in this conference from Sasha Watson over there to Pat Araki to, I mean, you name it, Eastern New Mexico guards. I mean, they, there's, there's strong players all throughout the conference. And so we definitely look forward to competing and showing the conference what we have this year. We, we appreciate everybody viewing. And thank you for tuning in to the Annual Commerce. Question. Okay, what's going on? Sorry, one second. So today, when we do the rock wall, will the coaches have to do it to get their gear? If we win the conference, I'll climb the rock wall for you. <laughs> That's on camera. It's on camera. <laughs> okay. It's on camera. Thank you all for, for viewing the AM Commerce Media Day.